I'm fine, thank you, my lord. You have been donated time, so take uh, take it and uh, make your submissions. Uh, thank you, my senior, Mr. Nyaberi. My name is uh, Wanjiko Waibera for the ninth uh, petitioner. And uh, taking off from where my senior, Mr. Wamboi, left off, I wish to submit on the issue that uh, the respondents raised in their responses, that is separation of powers, in which they are seeking to have the applications dismissed on account that parliament has privileged, the respondents, uh, that is the Senate and the National Assembly, have privileges to conduct their proceedings and such proceedings must not be challenged in court. And uh, I wish for this court to be guided by the decision of Justice Lenaola in the Commission for Implementation of the Constitution versus the National Assembly of Kenya and two others, 2013 EKILR. And uh, I will quote part of the passage where the court said that, to my mind, the separation of powers is not an absolute, um, is not an absolute, To my mind, the separation of power principle contained in the Constitution is not absolute, and the courts as defenders and protectors of the Constitution have to be allowed to interfere where there is a violation or threat of violation of the Constitution. The court further went on to say that the primary duty of the court is to the Constitution and to the law, and which must apply impartially and without fear or favor or prejudice. The Constitution requires that the state to respect, protect, and promote and fulfill the Bill of Rights. My lords and my ladies, what is challenged before you are the proceedings that were undertaken at the Senate, and uh, amongst the, what we are challenging is the right to be heard that was denied to the first petitioner which forms a cornerstone under Article 47 of the Constitution. And therefore, my lords and my lady, this court stands at crossroads of history with a rare opportunity not to merely um, interpret the law, but to define it in a way that will um, you know, echo through generations. The decisions of these proceedings have the potential to set um, a benchmark that will solidify principles of accountability and strengthen our democratic foundation. We therefore invite the court to allow our application and issue the conservatory orders as prayed, and in so doing, we will be cementing the constitutional principles of this country. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my Lord, uh Having had that, uh, we organized. Mr. Mari will do a wrap for 30 seconds or one minute. I hope you meant 30 seconds. <laughs> well, Lord, I didn't want to talk, save that to bring to the attention of the court that the public participation was done on Saturday, which is contrary to Article 37. Number two, the public participation was supposed to be done at, at the polling station level. Deputy presidents and presidents Stalling ends at the polling station. Third, the notice of the constituency public participation. The court gave the orders at around 4.30. There was no notice sufficient for people in the villages to go to their constituencies. <coughs> Therefore, that completely 